제 17회. 걱정하지 마세요. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly. And we can't start the show without these wonderful people beside me. We have our guide in mastering the Korean language, Stephen <laughs> Revere. I, I don't know about mastering. I'll do my best to teach you. Uh, I don't know if I'm a master yet. I, I'm working at it. But anyway, we're going to teach you some expressions today, one of which is don't do something. We taught, uh, we've taught you how telling somebody to do something. Now we're going to use the negative, don't do something. And we're going to work in there one that you can use on the Korean subway sometimes. Don't push me. Okay? <laughs> I like that one. Okay, next we'll introduce our students. We have Miriam and Jason in the studio again. Hello. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Steven. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 저는 Miriam입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 Jason입니다. It's great to be back here again, guys. Hope you can teach me some more. Lisa, yes? you're looking nice today. Oh, well, that nice outfit. I think. What's wrong with you today? Nothing's wrong with me today. <laughs> I, a very I just, unusual I, I, behavior I, I, from you. I read how to win friends and influence people, and they told me that you're supposed to compliment people more. Either that or you're trying to butter me up. You did something wrong, didn't you? Yeah. Or you need something. No, I did nothing wrong. I did nothing <laughs> wrong. I, I just, uh, you know, just wanted to give you some more compliments. But what about me? Don't tell look nice today? I mean, like... She's not the only woman here. Oh. <laughs> She's got to throw on compliments everywhere, huh? Boy, I mean, my mistake, my mistake. Yes, you look nice, too. Oh, Mary. thank mm -hmm. you, Steven. You look nice, too, mm -hmm. by the way. All right, well, Steven, enough of this. I, I, there's something. You're cooking up something. <laughs> Anyways, let's go and find out what we're going to be learning today in Let's Do It. Let's do it. 오늘은 좀 어때요? 걱정하지 마세요. 괜찮아요. All right, we discovered two new expressions today. And the first one was, how are you feeling today? What's your condition today? You know, how are you? And that we say, 오늘은, 오늘 is today, 오늘은 좀 어때요? And the response was, 괜찮아요. You'll hear this expression so often in Korea. You should get this one down. 괜찮아요. Here it means I'm okay, but 괜찮아 usually means oh, it's okay, that's okay, okay in general. Mm -hmm. And we have 걱정하지 마세요 too, right? Don't worry. In the beginning, the person says 오늘은. Now here can be this can be a problem. The pronunciation's rather tough. It's not it's not 오늘은. You cannot do all. It has to be 오. 오늘은 and then 네 is a little difficult to pronounce too because there's no uh in English. 오늘은 좀 어때요? Now, 어때요 is how is something or how are they? How are? But you have to look at the circumstances to understand. I'm sure some of you are wondering, how is what? Where is the subject here? What are we talking about? But you, in the situation, in the context, Koreans very often just get rid of the subject right. and they can understand what they're talking about. So, because, you know, we kind of know that Lisa hasn't been feeling well lately. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. So we know that we're talking about her health. And I say, oh, right. 오늘은 좀 어때요? Right. For example, also, if you were in a restaurant and we were trying out some food, you know, you come here every day on a daily basis, and so the restaurant uh, owner can ask you, 오늘은 좀 어때요? How, how's the food today? Mm -hmm. You know? So depending on the situation, you can take it out of the context. Mm -hmm. Good. And could you explain the chum for our students as well? Chum <laughs> is like a that's that's all a, purpose word. Isn't yes, it, it is. I like it. I love it. It's used everywhere. It's a filler. Mm. Think of it as a filler. Chum can also mean just a little of something. So you know, yeah. you say chum, you know, but it can also be like I said, a filler. You can put it in anywhere. Or a please, right? Oh, quite often it will mean please, right? Please do chum hit yourself means please kind of do this or. Uh, they'll use it as a please, generally, the situation Lisa said, uh, as a please, or as she was saying, a little bit. Right. As we develop our Korean, we'll find other situations to use it in, and you'll get to understand where you can use this. Okay. And the other one... Um the next next sentence was uh, darn on sale? the script. Now I have to pretend I have a cold. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And why don't we have the students ask? Yes. Ladies, right. ask... Uh, uh, excuse me, Miriam, how is Lisa? <laughs> I wish they didn't really wouldn't do this to me. <laughs> oh, 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 o
오늘은 좀 어때요? 아, 괜찮아요. 음, good. <웃음> okay. Then we move on to the don't do this expression, right? Mm. And, you know, because Lisa doesn't want them to worry, she says, 걱정하지 마세요. 걱정하지 마세요. Okay. 걱정 means yeah. worry. Mm. So, 걱정하지 마세요. 마 means not to. So, mm. 하세요 would be to do it or be worried. 하지 마세요 would mean don't be worried, don't be mm. concerned. Yeah. 걱정하지 마세요. 한 번씩 해보세요. <laughs> 걱정하지 마세요. Okay. 걱정하지 마세요. <laughs> we want to work in one more verb there for you. You got 하지 마세요. Don't do something, right? And then you, we have you put 걱정 in front of it. Uh, we also had 시작 once before, didn't we? That means to start. 시작 하지 마세요 means don't start. And here's one for you folks who like to ride the subway, but occasionally there's somebody pushing or shoving mm. you. You would say. 밀지 마세요. 밀지 마세요. 밀지 마세요. Okay, let's try that. 밀지 마세요. 밀지 마세요. Don't push. Okay. We and need uh, that. <laughs> yeah, well, you definitely do. Uh, let's try some other verbs with this. Okay. Um, how about uh, crying? Do you know the verb for cry? Mm. Mm. 울, 울다. Okay. Yeah. okay. 울지 마세요. Okay. 울지 마세요. Mm -hmm. right. And and well, since we have Stephen here and he's such mm -hmm. a joker. Uh, we can always say, hey, don't kid around or don't mm. fool around. You can say it to kids as well. Mm -hmm. um, the verb for that is 장난치다. 장난. Okay. 장난치지 마세요. <laughs> <laughs> 장난치지 마세요. Uh -huh. And you can also say 장난하지 마세요 as well. Uh, okay. I, I keep getting that one, huh? <laughs> 장난치지 마세요. Yes, when you see little kids running around screaming and you, you want to tell them to quiet down, hey, 장난치지 마세요. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what we've learned today uh, through our Wrap It Up Corner. Wrap It Up with Lisa and Steven. Don't <laughs> Okay, don't cry too much now. <laughs> yeah, you know, this, this, can, this can happen with, uh, you know, Korean food because it's so spicy sometimes. Right. The spiciest of which I always tend to find is nakji bokum. Have you guys had nakji mm, bokum lovely. before? Lovely. You love that stuff? The spicier the better as far as I'm concerned. Oh, my God. I put tobacco God. on everything. That's, that's <laughs> too much for me. Nakji bokum. That's, uh, nakji, by the way, is the squid. And bokum means fried, but in Korea, nakji bokum also always happens to have a lot of kochukaru in it. Right. Oh, we heard yeah. it in the Kuchukaru. Flash Animation. Kochukaru is the red pepper oh. powder. Right? powder. Yeah. But, oh, this is really hard to pronounce for a lot of uh, us foreigners because yeah, of the, the blending me, of the yeah. sounds. Uh, there's a sheer patim there, and you know it's not pronounced. Mm. So when mm -hmm. you look at it, it looks pretty hard to pronounce. Mm. But kochukaru, kochukaru, good. All right. Well, keeping that in mind, everybody <laughs> go and get some nachi pokum today, <laughs> and that'll end our show for today. Thank you for joining us, and please come back next time. With us, let's be Korean. Bye bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. bye. bye.